Welcome to Gridball with me, Pat Rogers. In Group A, Lanark should need only to avoid a heavy defeat to join Leeds in Round 2. Sunderland are the team carrying slim hopes of upsetting them. Cheshire start the day two points clear of Dublin and Birmingham, in turn a point ahead of Cardiff. Bolton's chances need a calculator. Group C was settled in Round 9. Wilsdon and Leicester are through. Manchester are the biggest casualties of the first round, for which coach Biddy Lenner was fired after the last game. The only thing to be settled today is who finishes third in the group, which ensures automatic qualification for next season's first round. In Group D, Monmouthshire are two points clear of Kent and three ahead of Croydon in the race to join Liverpool in the last 16. In Group E, West Ham are two points clear of Plymouth and three ahead of Bristol. Remember, it's two points for a win, but a bonus point for a five-goal margin, and a point deducted for the losing team. One point for a tie but nothing for a nil-nil. Mandy Potemkin here stateside, where Group F has just two points between all the teams bar Islington. Group G has already been decided, and in Group H, Indianapolis are a point clear of Houston, and three ahead of Los Angeles and Memphis in the race to qualify behind Glasgow. Today's music comes from a movie that earned an Academy Award nomination for both the lead actor and actress. A film star helps a young singer and actress find fame, even as age and alcoholism send his own career on a downward spiral. Here we go. Only 16 will be left come full time. Despite going a goal down in the first few seconds, Kent's objective hasn't changed, they still need four goals to have any chance of beating Monmouthshire to the runners-up spot. Not what Bristol wanted to see, but they can still qualify with a win if Cleveland can turn it around. In Group F, Carolina started the day top, and have strengthened their position early on. Indianapolis are doing what they need to do to book their second round spot, which kills any remote early hope for Memphis and Los Angeles, who both needed Des Moines to win before chasing a bonus point. I recognize this team. They used to be the champions. And they've had exactly the start Sunderland needed. Group C was settled in match 9. Equalizer for Hawthorne for Belfast, but that makes no difference to the group. Group F couldn't be tighter, Jeffries gets a second to tighten Carolina's grip on the group, while Skullcoats just need one more goal to overtake Worcester by virtue of having a better defensive record. A surprise lead for Philadelphia in Stepney, but the East Enders are already through to round two. Memphis need a big result, and they're certainly gonna go down giving it their all. Lancashire will finish bottom of the group, but are at least hoping to end the season on a high. Gibson's goal is the final nail in Bolton's slim qualifying hopes. But the big goal comes from Todd for Dublin, who will now qualify at Birmingham's expense. Two quickfire goals for Moreland will at least ensure that Sheffield qualify for next year's first round automatically. Breakthrough for Croydon, but they still have work to do, that's better than Kent who are down and out. Plymouth can start celebrating, Anderson and Potter seal the win in Cleveland, and leave Bristol too much to do. Carolina can start the party and plan for round two, Jeffries and Eel have wrapped up the win and killed off Detroit's bid in the process. Wood's goal for Portsmouth could give them the consolation of not finishing bottom of Group C. Any faint Bristol hopes have been snuffed out, and are St. Louis on course for their first win? The outgoing champions have found their title-winning form, just in time to end Sunderland's bid for the second round. And Birmingham looked like missing out on the second round spot for a record fifth consecutive time. And Bristol's demise is now all but confirmed, with a second for St. Louis. Derbyshire may have some bad news going into round two, 
a star player Scoff Field is helped off, and it doesn't look good. Most of the places in round 2 look settled, but these three groups are on a knife edge going into the final 30 minutes. Ernstine French breaks Hermione McClendon's career goals record for Norfolk, with her 11th goal. Maggie Cresswell is the fourth player this season to hit the 20-goal club. Memphis aren't going out without a fight, they need two more goals. Kia may have just won the group for Lanarkshire, and the last unbeaten team in the competition are facing defeat. That's definitely the end of the road for Bolton as Stoke go two up, while Todd has probably sealed Dublin's place in round two with their third goal, although Birmingham might still have a glimmer of hope. Two quick goals, but they're going to need another three to overhaul the Ravens. Group F was so tight that Skullcote started the day in fifth place, Brenda Becker's goal has just taken them into second spot, and that position is strengthened by Cowling's goal for Islington. Stepney's record scorer, Leslie Sears, gets her 33rd career goal in an exciting if meaningless game. That may seal a group for Lanarkshire, both they and Leeds will return to the second round after missing out last year. Liverpool fall behind, but their perfect round two appearance record remains intact. Rowland scores for Wandsworth, and may well have confirmed Plymouth as group winners with West Ham as runners-up. Philadelphia are level again, but Stepney are looking ahead to their third consecutive second round appearance. Manchester are looking like the highest profile casualty of round one, and will have to qualify next season, but they're signing off with a confidence boost in performance. Liverpool are safely through and have little to play for, but how Belfast fans must wish they'd found this form sooner. Needham is on for the Hammers, and makes an instant impact. Houston have been impressive, but the odds were always stacked against them when up against the Glasgow machine. It's a club record 41st goal for Barbara Box, but Kent won't be in round two for the third consecutive year. Suddenly Detroit have hope. If they equalize, they'll beat Skullcoats to that runners-up spot. That's Pamela Byrne's first ever goal in her 24th appearance. Just when Detroit thought they had a chance, Carolina smashed the door closed again. If Oklahoma can equalize, the team of teenagers could secure their place in next season's first round. And the Marines are ending their first round in style. They change their name this season, and will make their debut in round two. In such a high-scoring first round, it's a bit of a surprise that Cresswell scores the first hat-trick of the day so late. Kent have a late goal, but even if they equalize it will mean nothing especially as Bauer has just scored the goal that ensures Monmouth are second round bound. Incredibly nobody has earned a bonus point today, the Marines going closest with their late bombardment of Detroit. And that's it. The last 16 of Gridball 1955 has been decided. Over to the Major for the results. World Gridball Championship, Round 1, Final Game. Starting with one late result in Group C, Lindsay Poachers nil, Manchester Bees 4. And the rest of today's results starting with, Portsmouth Pompeys 2, Leicester Vixens nil, Sheffield Steels 2, Wilston Saxons nil, Lanarkshire Miners 2, Leeds Owls nil, Newcastle Reavers 3, Sunderland Wasps nil, Norfolk Iceni 1, Lancashire Hot Pots 2, Cardiff Dragons nil, Birmingham Bullets 2, Cheshire Cats nil, Dublin Ravens 3. Stoke Trents 2, Bolton Rifles nil. Croydon Crystals 1, Monmouth Shabikans 1. Kent Phillies 2, Edinburgh Rocks 3. Liverpool Liverbirds 1, Belfast Weavers 3. Cleveland Foresters nil, Plymouth Pilgrims 3. St. Louis Spirits 3, Bristol Fighters nil. West Hammers 1, Wandsworth Brewers 1. Carolina Marines 6, Detroit Motors 2. Skullcoats Flyers 3, Berkshire Deers 0. Worcester Hearts 0, Islington Angels 1. Birmingham Americans 0, Richmond Revolution 0. Derbyshire U's 3, Oklahoma Orchids 1. Stepney East Enders 3, Philadelphia Quakers 3. Glasgow Claymores 1, Houston Stars 0. Indianapolis Racers 1, Des Moines Rapids 0. 
And finally, Memphis Fever 4, Los Angeles Dreamers 1. A look at the final tables, and here's the tale of the tape. Glasgow qualifiers both top scorers and best defence, and along with Liverpool, are ever present in round two. Stepney and Dublin have also never failed to get out of a first round group, but Newcastle become the first defending champion not to reach the second phase. And the United States will be represented by two teams for the first time, and both Carolina and Indianapolis are the only debut second round teams in the last 16. The top scorer battle looks like a four-runner race going into round two. All four scored today. This is my first ever team of the week to contain three Americans, but Jay Bard is the standout player. In round two the teams play six games. The group winners will have home advantage in the quarter-finals against one of the runners-up. Monmouthshire are the only group one team bidding to reach the quarter-finals for the first time. Cheshire and Skullcoats will do battle again, after the Cats won their quarter-final clash 2-0 last season. None of the teams in Group 3 reached the last eight last year. Liverpool have never failed to reach the last eight. It's July 30, 1955, and Slim Whitman has his first UK chart topper with Rosemary. Today's movie was the Academy Award-nominated remake of A Star Is Born, which earned Judy Garland and James Mason nominations, as well as the song The Man That Got Away. Oh, Rose, my Rose, my And Walt Disney opens his Disneyland theme park in Florida. The Lanarkshire Miners have won Group A, and have a unique plan to get them through Round 2. They're training with pogo sticks in the hope it will bounce them into the quarter-finals. The Miners ended the last unbeaten run of the competition, and have Glasgow Monmouthshire and Plymouth in wait. Follow Gridball at gridball.webs.com.